uh, 20th part 1 off. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all back once more to Risen 3. Let's talk to this fella. Are you one of us? Who is us? Me and... and... I don't know. Where are the others? I think we shouldn't be alone here. What others are you talking about? I don't know. I'm sure there were others here. They're bound to be back soon. No. No. Something about this isn't right. And I need him to figure out what to do with that bottle. Because that's irritating me. Knock it off with that hocus pocus. That's more like it. What's the matter with you? You seem a little disorientated. I keep having strange dreams of humans, fish, and terrible monsters. You dream about fish? Yeah, but that's not the problem. In my dream, the monster is telling me I should eat the fish here. He's calling down from the plateau in the northwest. Interesting. What is it about the fish here? I... I don't know. I don't even know where they come from. Oh, I'm so hungry. But these fish... They... They send a cold shiver down my spine. Something is wrong with them. About the fish... You shouldn't eat the fish. But I'm so hungry. I can get you some food. I've feeling that there's something wrong with these fish. You're right. I don't even know where these fish came from. Maybe they're poisoned or something. It's possible. Well, why, uh, why can't I just offer him some food? I'll check the northwest for you. Maybe I'll find your phantom monster. It's probably a soul eater. I bet it was just your imagination. I'd feel better knowing there's nothing lying in wait for me up there. I'm sure I'll have a token for you if you find out what's going on here. So, really the biggest problem I have with this... It fucking stinks. No way am I eating that stuff. Their eyes look strangely... alive. Yeah, the only... If... Yeah, the only real problem I have with this game is they seem to screw up the dialogue every once in a while. Um... They... Like, the guys are reading the script wrong, and I'm kind of surprised that so many of these little mistakes made it through uh, QA and all that. Seriously. Like, you got a gun. You can hunt the scavengers. Might not be a good idea. Whoa. Good idea to use this with him so close by. I might hurt him. Nah, it worked. Thanks. That's a water lizard. Oh, how I hate those things. So yeah, this isn't really much of a lake for fish to be appearing. What the hell? What the bloody Jesus is that? So it does seem to be a tremendous mystery surrounding this island. Eat it. Any more yes? See one way over there. Oh dear. Of course. Oh wow. There's a bunch. Not today. Really? Bastard. Ah ha ha. Gorgeous. Alright, well done, good sir. I do not like these things. They are irritating. I wonder if the clams are safe. I don't trust you, bird. What is that, a golem? Ah. That is a golem. A very fading golem. What was that over there? I saw something. Another scavenger. I don't care about you. Oh, it's on to me. 
Come on, you bastard. Kabloom. Wham. Oh, sh fuck off. All right, you. Swamp Golem. I don't think ice hurts you. Whoops. No. Boom. Okay. So, what is this? Some kind of mill. Very small mill. But who operates it? Rats? Whoa. Ah! It's a masher. Whoa, that bird startled me. I don't trust you birds. It's a shame we can't kill them. More parrot flight, wow. I really ought to just forget that. That's just too time consuming when I have that. Gold pan, interesting. So what's this all about? Who built this? And where is the operator? Hmm, that's a bit weird. That particle effect goes through yeah, it's a bit glitchy. Oh well. Such things happen. So. Uh, where is... Uh, yeah, it's on the other side of the mountain there. And the last one is way up in the hills. So, what was his riddle? To the south was dispatched by deadly clutches snatched. Filled with signs washed up on an eastern shore lines. So that was the that was the message in a bottle we found. High up in the southeast were rats on his bones feast. Well then. And big boom. Abattoir. Alright, well, I'm not really sure where that plateau that, uh, what's his name? Nathan was talking about, but we'll find it soon enough. No reason we can't just get ourselves a little sidetracked exploring. Glad I found some crystals. I do need those for some spells. I would love to get the fire rain. Calypso's looks skull. like the skull of a woman. There must be someone here who can tell me more about him. About him? You mean her? There we go again with the, uh... Mistakes in... The dialogue. What is with all the Greek, uh... The Odyssey references in this DLC, though? That's pretty crazy. Calypso's skull. Well, that's very unfortunate. Oh, dear. Oh, crap. I don't suppose this is what was speaking to Nathan. I don't think this is really much of a plateau, so I doubt that that's what he was talking about. I have to find out more about that skull, though. What was that? Interesting. He seemed to throw in an extra attack into the combo. Hmm. Cave. Wait, what? Oh, come on. Looked like there was something hidden back there. Does not seem to be the case. Hmm. There's an archway there. This almost seems like a goblin construction. But it's overrun with water lizards instead. Back, you fiends. A bluey. You are nothing. So, what is the great mystery here? It seems like, yeah, it seems like there's some big uh, gold mining operation set up here, but everyone seems to have vacated. 
How interesting. Oh! A morning star. I don't think that's a, a decent weapon at this point in the game. 20 to 60, mine is 45 to 65, so yeah. Not so good. Well, we don't really need to sleep. I ignore. So. Interesting. Also seems like a... Almost a very decayed ruin here, where there's not really much of the old constructions left. I did not see you, my friend. You're a little too slow to get the jump on me, however. Oh, you did it that time. Well done. So, I think up here might be what Nathan was hearing. So, I wonder what's wrong with the fish, though. Seems very likely that it is a soul leader that was talking to him and sort of manipulating his thoughts. I definitely hear a soul eater cave or something. But what? Right, invisible wall again. Marvelous. But what uh, exactly the significance of the fish is? Oh no. Yeah, that's a soul eater. I can hear it. So let's head back this way. Which way did we come from? I don't really remember. We came from up there, didn't we? Yeah, that's a soul eater cave. And that, my friends, is something that eats souls. Crackle raw. Time to die, dervish fiend. Ah ha ha! Hyper armor, fool. Whoa, nice dodge. Ouch, you men. Wow. Holy smokes. Eat it. Oh. What the hell? What the hell? Where did that guy come from? You're Nathan. Who the hell are you? Nemo? We found him! That wasn't a dream. How do you mean? The monster that spoke to you in your dream was a soul eater. I thought as much. So what about this soul eater? You don't need to worry about it anymore. Very good. Here's the reward I promised. Your friend has returned. Yes, I see. Thank goodness I didn't eat the fish. Why? Because one of the fish suddenly turned into my friend here. I dread to think what might have happened if I'd eaten them. I can suddenly remember everything. Tell me what happened. There were nine of us when we arrived here. We'd been sent out to explore the island. It's funny. What? I can remember how I forgot everything. A very strange feeling. Go on. After the first night here, a few of us had already gone missing. But I remember that we knew someone had gone missing. But we just couldn't put a finger on it. It was as if we'd forgotten the others overnight. Instead, there were all these fish lying about. None of us wanted to touch them. And what happened then? Well, one by one, even more people disappeared. Until I was the only one left. And you know the rest of the story. Why did only one change back? Perhaps it's been too long for the others. They were probably dead. There's no changing back from that. I need to get going. All right. Thanks again. That's really strange. 
Didn't uh, the didn't the Cersei story kind of end up that way? In uh, the Odyssey, I can't really remember. It's been so long since I actually read the Odyssey, but she turned all all his uh, all Odysseus's men into pigs to try and get them to eat each other, or something like that. Or maybe I'm just mixing that up with the uh, Simpsons episode. But she definitely turned them into animals, and then yeah, that's what ended up happening here. All these fish. I won't be eating that stuff. So, well, you seem to have made it out okay. What happened? What are you doing? Uh, oh, forget it. I need to sleep. Unbelievably tired. Good night. Well, that's that. We'll let him rest. Let him sleep it off. That's a hell of a bender if you end up as a fish. So. Well, it was very tragic that most of his mates could not be saved. At least the mystery is solved. I, it's really interesting. My god, there's some really nasty screen tearing. It's really interesting how they worked the soul leaders into the story. And I definitely like it because each one of them is unique and they're operating like their quests function differently the story is different for each one and it's very unlike these sort of uh, things in well I mean in the um, in the little guys DLC all that happened was you once you took back all the things that the goblins had stolen you just went and killed them all and there was no real story to that whatsoever and it also kind of reminds me of the air temple dlc for risen 2 where the gargoyles were just totally insignificant fodder enemies that you just had to go onto every island and kill so both of those worked out very shallowly but in this one they're actually making the soul eaters themselves significant in some way and it's a different way for each of them so I do like it I like that they really went in depth with this one Golden Scepter alright well this seems to be a passageway of some kind Looks like it'll lead me into those mountains. Oh, hello, rat attacks. I mean, bat attack. Sharp eye. Ear grows. You are nothing. Well, it seems this was a. Uh, signs of habitation here. They still want to know what's up with the gold mining. Cheap liquor. What are you hiding from me? I love the music here too. I'm kind of surprised. I am. Um, considering that they went with a company to compose the music from this game instead of like a specific known composer, I'm surprised how well they did. I'm pretty sure this is the same company that did uh, Arcania's soundtrack, but I don't really remember what they're called. I feel like they did a really good job with this one. Even though it does seem like they they were kind of inspired by Bastion Sealbach's soundtrack for Risen 2. They put enough of their own spin on it. Definitely, it stands out a bit more. I especially like the 
Titan Lords theme, which is one that you I have actually have not heard in game yet. But it is not the main menu theme either. But that one's pretty good too. I like it. Who are you two gentlemen? Shift your ass. I have no intention to. Do you know what the punishment is for insubordination? Yes. Yes, what? Yes. But I'm still not shifting my ass. Domingo. You. When Commandant Carlos you were one of the dance men. But at least I'd be alive. Don't push it too far. I'm warning you. You seem to be a uh, high-ranking officer. Say, where did you come from? You're not part of our expedition, are you? I sail under my own flag. You're joking, right? Well, in that case, you're up shit creek without a paddle, just like us. It looks that way. <laughs> I'll buy a round so we can drink to that. I pilfered it from the galley. But hey, you came at just the right time. An extra pair of strong arms is always welcome as far as I'm concerned. If the payment's right, I'll help. Great. I'd be happy to find someone here that hasn't completely lost it yet. Tell me more about this place. You'll die here as quickly as anywhere else. But that doesn't bother me. I'll just have to hold on until I leave the service. Who knows? Maybe I'll even stay on here if there are no more problems. And until that time comes, I'll keep shooting for some trophies. So, what can I help you with? There's a thing decimating my men southeast of here. I've tried to get Domingo to take care of it, but he won't budge an inch. He'd like best to give up his post and go back to his mummy. But that isn't gonna happen, not while I'm still standing. Orders are orders, and I need someone to take care of that creature. Why don't you kill it? Because I have to send a report to Carlos if all else fails. I don't want to think of them getting ambushed and not coming back. Anyway, I'm just carrying out orders. You can't disobey orders. You can, if there's a just reason for it, I think. I'll find a way of slaying it. I don't care how you do it. Maybe there's even a way of avoiding getting your hands dirty. Hmm. Tell me more about your alternative. Ah, excellent. I see you catch on fast. Listen, maybe you could get some other poor sucker to do your dirty work. You just have to make sure Domingo kills the beast. Sure, this thing's a suicide mission. But there is a way to get out of this unscathed. What happens if Domingo dies? Don't worry. I don't think he'll do anything about it anyway. He's scared shitless, so the beast has probably picked up his scent already. In any case, if anything should happen, he's no big loss. There's no room in the troop for wimps. That's harsh. What can I learn from you? What do you want to know? Considering you're not even willing to lift a muscle yourself. Seems unreasonable that you're, you know, dissing him for it. Can I do that? I'm really not that good. Bugger. I'm not good enough Damn it. for this. Range 15, cunning 20. Blazing barrels. I do want that, because since I have a pistol, might as well. What do I need for it? I already forgot. Uh, wow. Alright, so cunning and ranged. Up by five each. That'll do. What can? What? Do you I'd like to be a more effective. Thanks. Thanks for not telling me anything, but somehow improving my skill nonetheless. So, hmm. I mean, I do still have the knives, which I... I mean, I don't have too many of them. That's really the problem with it. So I'd have to keep re-equipping more of them if I run out. So, that's why the pistol is a better alternative. Even though the problem with it is it's actually a bit slower than the knives. Well, I'm certainly not going to send Domingo to his death. No. Go away. The whole island is cursed. 
We're all going to die. Yeah, yeah. Keep your hair on. You mark my words. Consider them marked. When you die. This island doesn't forgive mistakes. It's suicide to settle here. You don't seem to agree with the Inquisition's plans. Indeed I don't. We're not safe from the Titans here either. Just because nobody knows about this island doesn't mean they don't. There's only one way. Run. Run to the end of the world. How could you join the Inquisition? Put yourself in my place. Someone walks up to you and tells you you needn't fear anything anymore. They promise you you'll be trained in the latest weapons. To top it off, you'll get decent pay. Wouldn't you say yes? If it sounds that good, it can't be true. Yeah, I found that out. But that damn recruitment officer talked me into it anyway. Hindsight is easier than... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, never mind. I thought this <laughs> I thought this might have been one of the people that uh in the quest there was a quest in Caldera in Risen 2 where he had to go around uh trying to recruit people. I thought he might have been one of the people that we actually recruited, but it turns out uh none of the people actually had names in that quest. I don't there was a point where they walked up to the uh recruitment officer and started saying their names, but uh, I didn't actually feel like waiting around to see that, because I just don't think that he's one of those. It would have been funny if they had that kind of continuity. Gonzalez said you'd shit yourself. What do you expect? He's ordered me to look after my comrades. But what's the point of that? They're dead. And I'm not stupid enough to confront the creature that killed them. A wimp with a musket. Bravo. So what if I am? This is my first year of service, so don't expect any heroic deeds from me. I'm staying put. You can deal with the beast. Fine, I'll take that. Because I don't really want to get him killed, but it wouldn't be terrible to have his help in the matter. So I'm going to see if I can get him to help me instead of getting him to run in and get himself killed. What are you afraid of? There's not much to explain. I'm rather attached to my life. Is that a crime? I just have a bad feeling about this. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? I don't think I'll get out of here alive. Everyone has their price. What's yours? I'm not interested in gold. Don't talk shit to me. You just won't let it go, will you? Fine. 150 gold, and I can give it a go. It's not yeah, all that bad. On you anyway. What are you talking about? How, how much do I have? But the what? But I got more than enough. Let's. Here's your gold. Now finish the job. Can't I wait a bit? A deal. Eh. Fuck. Fuck it. Does he really get himself killed, though? Just wondering if I can save him. I did lose soul value for that, but I've got enough to spare, I think. I just want to see if I can help him survive. Shit bugger. <laughs> 